The Law of Success by Paramahansa Yogananda, using the power of spirit to create health, prosperity, and happiness. This is the last chapter of the series. Click the playlist and go back to the start if you want to listen to all the readings and my wee commentary afterwards. <laughs> Release for constructive purposes the power you already have, and more will come. Move on your path with unflinching determination, using all attributes of success. Tune yourself with the creative power of spirit. You will be in contact with the infinite intelligence that is able to guide you and to solve all problems. Power from the dynamic source of your being will flow uninterruptedly so that you will be able to perform creatively in any sphere of activity. You should sit in silence before deciding about any important matter, asking the Father for his blessing. Then behind your power is God's power, behind your mind, God's mind, behind your will, God's will. When God is working with you, you cannot fail. Every faculty you possess will increase in power. When you do your work with the thought of serving God, you receive his blessings. In your work life, if your work life is humble, do not apologize for it. Be proud because you are fulfilling the duty given to you by the Father, by God. He needs you in a particular place. All people cannot play the same role. So long as you work to please God, all cosmic forces will harmoniously assist you. When you convince God that you want him above all else, you will be attuned to his will. When you continue to seek him, no matter what obstacles arise to take you away from him, you are using your human will in its most constructive form. You will thus operate the law of success that was known to the ancient sages and that is understood by all the men who have achieved true success. The divine power is yours if you make a determined effort to use it to attain health, happiness, and peace. As you encompass these goals, you will travel on the path of self-realization to your true home in God. <laughs> Beautiful. That was the last one. Put your God, put God's power behind your efforts before you do anything. Sit there and tune in with God. God is omnipresent, all-pervading, everywhere, all throughout you, and every being, everything you see. So if you can sit here and attune to God, I am working for thee. You have brought me to earth and I'm playing the role of this cosmic movie. I will do whatever you, wherever you'd put me. Any activity that comes to me is from thee. Any person that comes into my life is from thee. All thoughts that come that are good are from thee. And just keep that when you're working, you know, and you get a bit, Oh, I don't want to be here. That comes. Stop. I'm doing this for God. Remove the little self and remember the omnipresent and true self of your being. And you're just playing the role, right? You're just playing the role. Don't get too caught up in this world. You're just playing the role while you're here and just do your best to play it well. And do your best to convince God that you want him above all else. You want mother above all else. Mother, father, beloved God, friend, almighty. I want thee above all. There's thou that I want. Take everything. I surrender my whole life to you. I give everything to you. You know best. My little mind, the little ego does not know much. So I surrender. My thy will be done. And if you keep saying it, keep doing it. You know, I don't want this. I don't want all that. I want thee. But if you bring me these and that, I will accept them and I'll do it if it's going to be a part of the role I'm playing while I'm here. You want me to wear suits and look nice. I will wear suits and look nice, but it is thou that I am working for. I am here to help my fellow um, brothers and sisters, whether it's in real estate, whether it's making videos, whether it's, you know, smiling at people at the supermarket or ask them how their day is or say, oh, your hair looks cool. You know, whatever you're doing to try help and make other people smile or be happy. Do it well and know that you're working to help others. You don't, you know, it takes a while to get past that selfish. I'm working for money. You know, if you, it'll come as you do a good job and as you attune to God, he'll bring you everything you need. 
allow you know i'll purify my mind with the thought that the omnipresent good is working in my favor every day to bring me what i need when i need it have these thoughts that come where thou is i am where i am thou is i will purify my mind with the thought that all thoughts and activities come from thee i'll purify my mind with the thought that every person that comes into my life is sent from thee if it's good or bad, it's good for me because you seem to, it is to help my soul. You have these kind of thoughts and life becomes a lot easier. Who am I going to meet today? I'm going to meet the stranger. I've never met before. Maybe it's for a job interview. What aspect of God is this person? You know, what is God teaching me through this person? What is this event teaching me? I know it's not easy if we go through some people have traumatic, terrible events that happen in their life. And to say that I can understand is, you know, it's not true, but I can try to empathize and I understand that they're going through a lot and it's not easy for them. But if we can attune our mind back to God, we can smooth out these rough, negative things. It burns karma when we meditate, when we keep our mind on God, God, God. God, it will burn karma, it will burn the past seeds of negativity that are instilled deep in the subconscious mind, uproot them and root them and throw them out, and it will stop manifesting these negative things in our life. And our life will become quite sweet and filled with nice things. Sure, there might be, you know, the, the rose has thorns, but you won't look at that thorn with judgment. You'll be like, okay, that's just there. Darkness and shadow dancing together, lights and shadows dancing together. It's all one of the cosmic movie that we are in and we're here to play our role play it right the law of success so you're going to be using your power we can recap just off the top of my mind we got our power of thought so your thoughts you got to think positive your mind is a garden just like the garden out there if you plant weeds or flowers the weed or flower is going to grow whether you water it by watering it what one are you entertaining you want to Try and pluck out the weeds of your mind, the negative thoughts and habits that you have, and replace them with new positive ones. You want to create a beautiful vision of the person you'd like to be in the career or the relationship or whatever aspect of your life that you'd like to enhance. You want to see it in your mind first. Everything was once a thought. This tie, this jacket was once a thought. This webcam was once a thought before it materialized. So you want to focus on that image you have and you want to cultivate it and feel it to be real. You want to see it over and over in your mind and keep positive. I can do it. We are doing it. It is happening. I will continue to do it. Um, you know, see yourself living that life <clears throat> as you <clears throat> as you <clears throat> fall asleep. <clears throat> Sorry. And you want to have positive affirmations, positive thoughts, success, joy, success, joy. Every day I'm getting more and more successful. Every day my mind is... Uh, permeating the seeds of success each day is getting better and better every day i'm meeting more and more kind of people every person i meet is leading me towards my goal um all these you want to come up with <clears throat> really nice positive thoughts to keep reinforcing and when negative ones come you get rid of it so you're using your power of positive thoughts using your imagination to create the scene then we're going to use our willpower to <clears throat> do the activities that are going to guide us towards this you know, what do I need to achieve? And to build willpower, make your bed first thing in the morning. Fold your clothing when you go to bed. Hey, go to sleep at night. Hang it up. These little things. Make your food the same time every day. Just little things like that. And then you can use your will to accomplish, start accomplishing things you never thought you could do. Set little goals for yourself to, uh, you know, to prove to yourself you can do it. And never accept failure. Just accept success. I'm going to do it. Make up your mind. I'm going to do it no matter what. I will not accept failure and keep going. So you're using your imagination, your, your powerful thoughts of success and positivity. You're using your willpower to will yourself to do the activities. As you keep going, we want to be courageous and fearlessness. You don't want it because fear just shuts you down. It shuts down all your nervous system. So we want to be joyful. We want to be courageous, stare fear in the face. We want to analyze ourselves. What attributes do we have that need to get rid of? What are the good ones we need to cultivate more of? And what do we need to start building instead of these negative ones? Do I need to go to bed on time early? Do I need to watch more educational videos? Do I need to watch more uplifting videos, more spiritual videos? Do I need to meditate more? 
start cultivating these positive things to help ground yourself. Analyze, how did I handle this situation? What did I do wrong? You know, maybe I failed a few times in my business or in relationships or something. That's okay, that happened. It isn't who I am. I'm going to now create a new vision of me succeeding, me having that relationship, me doing well in business, me doing well with my friends and my family, having harmonious relationships, um, me being able to speak to people, me being calm in all situations. And then you're going to keep entertaining that. And then you'll notice your outer world starts to change. You'll notice it changing. You can also ask people that are close to you, maybe in your work, family, people that you respect to give you a description of yourself. What are my positive traits and what are my negative traits? And to be even-minded when they give them to you back, you know, is there truth to what they're saying? Is that in there? You know, because they'll see a different version of you that you have in your mind. And then you can use that to help cultivate this image and this successful version of yourself. Okay. Keeping your mind on God. This should have been the first one that I ever said. Um, cultivating this relationship within yourself through closed eyes. God, God. Remember, God is omnipresent everywhere. Using affirmations that I am thy child, thou art ever with me. Um, I love thee, thou lust me. I have thee, thou has me repeating these where i am thou art where thou art i am god is the only power god is good you need to cultivate these thoughts and you and let them blossom and then you'll see and through meditation and repeating these i'll permeate my mind with the thoughts that everything that comes to me is good and is from god you'll notice that it will start to manifest and you'll feel the sense of peace and serenity and god will awaken within you and give you new levels of like different powers you were up your ability to do things and your peace and calmness and ability to stay even-minded in situations definitely will test you with things to see how you know if you are staying true to this vision you might put something in front of you that you've got to get through it that you keep your mind on god all the time god first whenever you're about to do an activity God, help me, bless me that I'd be able to get through this. Give me thy strength, thy willpower, you know, give me thy peace, thy love. Uh, <laughs> turn me into a magnet for good things, you know. I'll permeate my mind with the thought <clears throat> that God's love is um, radiating from me into all people. May thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of my devotion. May I be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Keep cultivating these thoughts of God as well as success. So first thing in the morning. Wake up. I love you, God. I love you, God. I love you, God. Um, thou and I are one. I am the immortal soul. Uh, I am not this body. I'm not this mind. I am, you know, I am one with thee. And you start the day like that. Cultivate. I love thee. I love thee. Yeah. Help me, help me, help me. And then you start permeating the successful thoughts, start thinking about the day. And you bring God in through your day. Yeah. I think I've covered them. Meditate. Yeah, measure your success by how happy you are and how you're feeling. You know, if you're not very happy, you're not being very successful. And if you're not very happy, it's because you're not focusing on images in your mind that are happy or successful. You're focusing and dwelling on the negative past or the, the problems of your day. You need to start using your willpower to <clears throat> focus on the positive and creating these situations in your mind that lead to success and lead to your unity with God and oneness with everyone. Meditate as soon as you wake up. Do a little activity. Make it a part of your morning routine to sit down even for five minutes. I started meditating at 10 seconds. Now, tomorrow morning when I go to Self-Realization Fellowship, we're doing a three-hour meditation, and I'll be happy to do that. When I was away being a monk, we're doing four-hour meditations. You know? I started at 10 seconds. You can do it by using your willpower. And through concentration, you'll be able to calm your mind to be able to focus on what you want to achieve and you'll be able to get there quicker because if you're not able to focus, your attention will be waved everywhere. And remember, these are all my personal experiences. This is just my wisdom that I've grown from learning and I've cultivated these. You may resonate with them, you may not, and that's completely fine. You have your own thoughts, your own life, your own mind. You're on your own journey. 
that if I can help you in any way on anything I say, I'm happy that it has helped you. You know, I get lots of comments, but you know, it's all God. It's not me. I'm just being the vessel because whenever I do a video, I pray that God's helped me. And if something comes through me, you know, it's God. God is doing the works. And Paramahansa Yogananda, my guru, is amazing. Uh, I highly suggest you start reading his content. Go on to the Self-Realization Fellowship website and get the lessons, the Self-Realization Fellowship lessons, like what this is the art of balance, spiritual living. You get the basic 18 lessons and then you can get Kriya Yoga. You'll get the Hong So meditation yeah. technique, the Ong technique of meditation, and the Kriya Yoga. You'll get the energization techniques, and all of these will lead you to into your spine to expand yourself into unity with God and all, and you'll expand your consciousness instead of this limited little me. You'll feel unity with all those around you, so you'll cultivate a lot more love, and you'll enjoy life a lot more. <laughs> And I hope you have enjoyed this little series, The Law of Success Using the Power of Spirit to Create Health, Prosperity, and Happiness with my, <laughs> my own little thoughts and commentary after it. And I hope you've enjoyed it. May peace be on your soul. Infinite love, happiness, wholeness, harmony. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.